Okay. Um, this is called the Shining Lecture. This is lecture number one of 17. Uh, yes, there's uh, 17 lectures of almost four hours of uh, this, uh, this stuff. Um, if you don't want to go through all the four hours, I'll tell you some of the highlights are uh, you definitely should watch Lecture 6 because I've, ne uh, I've never seen anything like Lecture 6 uh, on the internet, so you probably will want to watch Lecture 6. And um, also uh, go halfway through Lecture 10 and watch the last half of Lecture 10, definitely. And uh, I think you'll see something that you ha nobody else has done on the internet on The Shining. Uh, maybe somebody has, I haven't seen it, and I've seen quite a few uh, videos on The Shining. Uh, anyways, otherwise you can watch all four hours of the 17 lectures. Um, before I get into uh, The Shining, uh, just for those, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with Stan Kubrick, but just to uh, uh, update the people who are not uh, uh, familiar with Stanley Kubrick, uh, that might not believe that he's a genius, uh, or the genius that... Uh, has purported to do the, do the things that I'm and other people on the internet have said that he's done with The Shining, uh, hidden special messages uh, about the fake moon landings and whatever. Um, I'd like to show uh, those people um, and maybe um, uh, some of you people with it, I don't think will mind seeing some of these uh, shots from uh, the movie 2001, which he shot in... Uh, uh, you know, I think 65 to uh, about 67. It was released in 1968, so about 50 years ago uh, this was shot. And uh, it's probably the, one of the most realistic moon uh, uh, landing uh, uh, films ever shot. Um, some of the shots uh, we'll see uh, later uh, will resemble uh, uh, actually some stuff from... Like this shot right here almost looks like something out of a Star Wars movie. Uh, not even in the in the prequels or whatever. The or the actually yeah in the prequels, uh, shot 40 years later or whatever, 30 years later. Uh, if we look at some of these some of these shots, are pretty amazing special effects. Uh, he was able to create. Even if you don't like uh, uh, Kubrick movies, uh, uh, trying to re. Uh, Try to re um, try to generate shots like this uh, 50 years ago uh, with the special effects that they had then. Uh, which, by the way, he won an Academy Award for special effects for this movie, well deservedly. Um, I, you'd be hard to reproduce these uh, shots; they're uh, immaculately done especially for 50 years ago. This shot, uh, there's a shot that's exactly like this in uh, the original Star Wars, uh, when the Millennium Falcon takes a, escapes from the Death Star. I think it was an, uh, an homage from George Lucas uh, to Stanley Kubrick. Uh, but yeah, there's a, there's a shot just like this in uh, the original Star Wars in 1977, which is 10 years after this. Uh, and I think this shot is more complex because it has people... Uh, you know, it has people uh, in, in all four windows, including these people are upside down because uh, uh, we have a rotating station here. And this is the center of the rotating uh, uh, space station. So everybody is gravitationally uh, adheres to the floor. So, of course, uh, uh, Kubrick's special effects and then uh, techni uh, technical uh, uh, expertise of uh, science was more uh, more realistic than Star Wars. Star Wars was a little bit more of a, a fun movie to watch. Uh, but uh, here he is, the ship uh, ship landing inside the space station. So I show these uh, just to um, make sure that people don't think that Kubrick is just some ordinary filmmaker who made a, a horror movie in The Shining. And, and I hope that, uh, that you uh, 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 you come to realize that uh, uh, the same genius who made 2001 uh, also put just as much uh, intellectual uh, 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 effort into uh, The Shining. So hopefully you won't, uh, you'll have an easier time to believe the things that I say. Okay, 
uh, look forward to you watching uh, at least lecture six and the last half of lecture ten, and that might uh, entice you to watch the rest of the seventeen if you like them. All right, and so on, on to lecture number two.